Hello and welcome to a video that you clicked on because you're interested in the thing that I'm about to talk about for some reason. So let's get going with it. I tried to turn Super Saiyan. Didn't work. Whatever, let's go. It's awkward now. Before we start, I want to give a warning. A lot of these games are kind of weird or dumb or a bit of both. So keep that in mind when I start talking about Corrin Tower, which would be a pretty cool phone game. It's kind of like Flappy Birds or Jetpack Joyride where there's no objective besides don't die and get the most points. I mean, you can already get the idea of the game just from the small clip of gameplay I'm showing. Don't hit the walls and get more points. It's really addictive and you just want to keep hitting restart to beat your last score. I think I did an alright job when it comes to my score, so send me some snapshots of you guys beating my score, and then I'll beat them and send you a message back that says, good for you in big capital letters. The next game doesn't have a name, well, it does, but the name is DBZ Project. Hopefully that's a work in progress title, and hopefully more work on this game gets done, because it's actually pretty neat. Like, I could see this being an interesting game with a few tweaks in its own personality instead of a DBZ game. Basically, the game revolves around flying through the map, dodging the enemy key blasts as you choose whether to use weaker attacks on your enemy or charge up and make yourself vulnerable to attacks, while getting ready to push out stronger attacks on your enemy. It's a cool idea that I like, and yeah, you can punch and stuff, but it's kind of pointless and I kind of like it that way. I think the creator should actually just take the physical attacks out and make the game more about managing your key and attacking with projectiles to make a cool one-on-one -on -one or maybe even party type game. Altered Story as well, just let it speak for itself. Yeah, it's interesting and I guess kind of fun for the brief period of time that the game plays for. It's pretty bad, but I mean it's also pretty fun. It's weird like that, where you just kind of enjoy it for what it is for a minute or so before just moving on to the next game you want to play. Which just happens to be Dragon Ball Moto Game. Yeah, like I said, these games are weird, and it only gets worse. Truthfully, I didn't play this game for long since it really pissed me off since I couldn't get past this dumb garbage jump and I mean, I passed it once then proceeded to screw up a few seconds later. I really hate games like these. Just let me do some quadruple backflips and fly through a course Sonic style. Stop making it so damn hard to drive up a pile of trash! Another motor vehicle based game is called Dragon Ball Kart, where you drive through a 2D level throwing pylons on the ground and shooting key blasts in front of you to stun your enemies. It's a cool idea, but I think having it be 3D would have been way cooler. Throwing destructo discs around a map and going Super Saiyan to go faster would be a really interesting idea as well. It's a good starting point for a programmer just starting out, but you could take it in some really cool directions I would love to see one day. For those of you who watch Team 4 Star and love their show and laugh at all their great jokes, well forget all that because this game sucks out all of that fun and humor and then puts it in a shitty text form with crappy turn-based combat. Like, I mean, all you had to do was copy and paste Team 4 Star's lines from the actual videos they make into a game and that could make up for the average turn-based RPG maker gameplay. Instead, they went with making their own lines that were kind of like the Team 4 Star lines, but, you know, aren't funny. So the game has nothing going for it. It's not funny, it's not like the actual Team 4 Star episodes, and the gameplay isn't fun, so yeah. If you want to play a watered down version of the TFS videos instead of watching them and laughing, please enjoy the legacy of Team 4 Star. And now, let's watch a super powerful spaceman who can shoot fireballs of death out of his hands and is power enough to blow up the whole planet. You know, let's just give him a gun and have him shoot zombies with an extremely derpy face. Yeah, it's nothing special. Walk straight shooting zombies with a shotgun or SMG and try to get a high score. Yay, the Newgrounds era of gaming. How fantastic. These last three games are actually great games. Starting we have Dragon Ball Z D-Evolution, which is a 2D fighting game with tiny cute sprites. 
It's very well put together with fights that actually follow the story arc of the TV show, and once you beat them all, there are even more fights that follow after that, that match with movies and more. And when you beat them, you unlock more characters to play as in versus mode. You can shoot key blasts, lock punches with enemies, and even teleport around the arena. Sadly, I'm really bad at this game, so I didn't get too far to actually see all the neat characters like Super Saiyan God versions of Goku and Vegeta, or even Farmer with a shotgun. There are a ton of characters that would never expect to see in a game like this, but here they are. This is one you need to check out for sure. Dragon Ball Z Mini Warriors is pretty much the same concept as de-evolution, but with no story mode and less characters. But it has way better graphics and it's more aesthetically pleasing than the prior. So if you want some of that and has a little bit more pizzazz to it, this is for you. You can even unlock characters like Trunks, Android 18, Krillin, Boo, Gohan, and Broly. But good luck with some of those because the game is hard as balls even on easy or I just suck at fighting games. Probably the latter. Let's move on. The last thing I have to mention, which I know all of you have been thinking about, is Mugen. And I could go on for ages talking about Dragon Ball Mugen games. For those of you who don't know, Mugen is a fighting engine made to allow people to make their own fighting games. So tons of people have put together their own Dragon Ball fighting games. Just a small list of games made are Hyper Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Z Mugen Edition 2, Dragon Ball GT Mugen, Dragon Ball Super Mugen, Dragon Ball Z Retro Battle, World Warriors, Dragon Ball AF, Dragon Ball Z vs Naruto, Dragon Ball Z Sagas, Dragon Ball JUS, Dragon Ball Z Extreme, and those are just a few names from the first page of a website I found. But I chose to talk about Dragon Ball Heroes. This game is based off of a Japanese Dragon Ball game where it's a bunch of alternate universe Dragon Ball stories with weird characters like Super Saiyan 4, Broly, and more. The game has a giant list of characters to play as, and just like many fighters, I suck at this game. So I decided to see what the computers would do, and God, was it awesome. <laughs> Watching Super Saiyan Goku and Vegeta duke it out was super crazy and awesome. So I watched a few other fights too. The biggest thing I noticed was that Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta was a cheater who likes to break the characters he fights, or SSJ4 Broly just likes to glitch a lot. Either or, it was funny. This is one I have to tell you to check out 100% for sure. And if not, at least look up some different Mugen games that seem interesting to you. I hope you all enjoyed the video, especially since you stuck around for this long, so I really hope you did. And don't forget, all the links to the games that you saw in today's episode are in the description below, like usual. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that little bell thing I just learned about that sends out notifications on my videos when they're out. You should do that so you see all my videos. They're great! Also, don't forget to hit the like button, or the dislike button, I don't care, it spreads the video the same, it's free country, do what you want. Love y'all, and I'll see you all in the next episode. I just want to give a huge shout out to my top Patreon supporters of the month. So thank you Zero Master, Thomas Bethel, Grizzly Gamer, and Legend Gary. Without your guys' support, I would not continue to make such fantastic videos. So thank you all, and if you wish to become a Patreon yourself, check the description below for more details. <laughs>